We're reading through the most toxic comments on the internet, in my opinion, that's Facebook market. So this is the Hamilton, Ontario marketplace. So someone is selling a mint condition 2009 Mazda 3 hatchback sport, rust free, heated seats, auxiliary AC, 95% highway kilometers. I don't know how they determine that, but okay, it's just a guesstimate, I think. Runs great, clean Carfax. New all season tires all around, known rust proofed every year, oil changed every 5,000 kilometers. This sounds like the perfect car owner. And right off the hop, I'm already thinking they're buttering this thing up. There's no shot they did this. Winter tires and rims, new cabin filters, new air filters, alignment recently done, new brakes all around, pads and rotors. Comes with three jugs of oil and three filters. Needs nothing for safety. We'll certify for a serious buyer. Why is it coming with three jugs of oil? Off the hop, that tells me this might have an oil problem. I used to have like an old Sunfire that like fucking would just drain oil. I'd have to always add oil to it just because it kept burning it off so quickly. And that's kind of a problem. Okay, so not bad pictures. I didn't screenshot any of the pictures. You guys know what a fucking Mazda looks like. It looks in decent shape. You know, not, not any noticeable rust like they said. So here's the price here, $6,400. And there's 201,000 kilometers on it. That's a fucking lot. And that's a lot of money. And that's a lot of kilometers. So here we go. Mindy speaking exactly how we all feel already. Six grand for a 2009 with over 200 kilometers. Crying laughing emo. Of course. Yes, Mindy. You used exactly. Yeah. We're all thinking the same thing, Mindy. So thanks for commenting that. Appreciate it. Ian. Mindy. Comparable to others selling between 5 and 10K. Have you been to a car dealership lately? Empty new cars. Huge rise in used car sales price. What? <laughs> Dear God. So, okay, so Ian's trying to educate us here. Ian, I guess, is familiar with the uh, the market and market value. Mindy goes, Ian, car dealerships would buy this at an auction for 500 and sell it over prices, as is to people who don't actually know the value or out of desperation. With this emo, we love this one too on Marketplace. It's great. I don't know what that means. Yeah, no clue, but okay. Alexandre. Mindy, actually 6,400 for a 2009. Do your research, thanks. Hold on a sec. Wait, well, uh, did she, was she wrong? She said six grand for 2009. Okay, so she rounded down a little bit. We got Alexandre coming in here saying 6,400 for 2009 and do your research. Okay, it's a little bit too specific to be calling her out for that, I think. It's just, Alexandre here is just looking for a fucking argument. This is from Mindy. My family works with auto auctions for over 25 years. This car isn't worth 6K. Alexandre. Oh yeah, I'm so sure. And my dad is Bill Gates. Wow, we fucking we, we we just brought this up to here now. I don't know why I don't know why he's getting involved so hard, but he's pissed off. Now he's throwing out a little bit of condescending comments here. Bill Gates, bud. Okay. So now he's replying again. Mindy, car auctions are broken down, crashed, POS, piece of shit. This car is mint. I'm a mechanic. I know what this car is worth. With a little wing. Just fucking unnecessary. Just completely unnecessary. Anyways. Now we have Gregoire. Mindy, used cars went up. There is no inventory of used cars on the market. Okay, so Gregoire there is just correcting Mindy again. I think Mindy might have gave up on this now. She's had enough. I don't know what the wink means, right? Like, what does that mean? Just being a dick, I guess. Tyler, they also have the worst insurance ratings. Alexandre again here on this one. They don't dot 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 cheap on gas and insurance. Okay, Alexandre knows everything. So I'm gonna start listening to him now. Tyler goes, Alexandre, I own a Mazda. No tickets, perfect record. They have bad crash test ratings. Maybe this dude got in a crash and he knows exactly how they perform in crashes. I would trust him more if he had a firsthand experience, maybe, but otherwise this is just stuff we can find on Google. So now Alexandre goes, Tyler, why are you com why are commenting this on my Facebook? Tyler goes, you don't own Marketplace. But I own my Facebook, so I'll be blocking you. To which Tyler goes, perfect. Thank you. Next time, don't tell me about it. Just do it. To which Alexandre goes, why comment if you're not buying? To which Tyler replies, will you block me already? <laughs> so he's fucking... <laughs> he's had enough. So Yuri goes, 4,000 cash PM me. So look at an actual fucking offer on the car. That's pretty sweet. Alexandre goes, just did. Rory goes, no, $4,000 check, obviously cash. It's only 4,000. What the fuck, Rory? Like, who are you, first of all? You're a new entrant. Why are you even getting involved? Just to make some comment that's really not even funny. But anyways, so what if it was? Then it should be full amount if a check. What the fuck are we doing here? What are we doing here? Who the fuck is Rory, right? Rory's weird, why? Now we've got Maureen. Maureen's dying here using one of these Bitmoji things. I don't know. 
This is common on Marketplace. I don't know if we've seen too many of them here when we've been doing these things. This is this is Maureen laughing her ass off. So now <laughs> Alexandre replies, Maureen says the person selling a food stained microwave. What? So he called Maureen out on her bullshit right away. Maureen didn't want any part of that. This is Trina. Too much money. Read the Carfax report. See the true value. Just a suggestion. So Alexandre goes, 7,500. So I guess he did read the Carfax. And then Trina goes, I'll eat my words now. <laughs> with, a, with a scared cat and a crying laughing emote. Okay. And then she also replied with her own bitmoji. Hey, what the fuck are these? I saw the profile picture. We blocked it out. But the Trina does not look like this. Chaz, some of you have not shot for cars in a while and it shows hard to find anything that runs and drives under 5k these days. Okay, so that's under th that's the end of that thread. Okay, now that thread wasn't that wasn't that intense compared to ones we've seen, but there's still enough little confrontation on there. I thought we should talk about it. Uh, but Chaz coming in here and just making sure that everyone knows, you know, the actual fact. All right, so thanks, Chaz. Thanks, Chaz. So if anybody's interested in a Mazda, I can check if this is still available for you and we can offer, uh, seems like it'll take four grand. So, so this is Allison in the Brantford buy and sell. Hold on, hold on. I can feel a sneeze coming again. So I'm itching my nose. It's coming. It's coming, Music Junkie. I'm just giving it a sec. Thank you, guys. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's not. It's just sitting there, like, right on the edge of my nose. Here it comes. I'm allergic to this bull. You think so? Okay, this is Allison in the Brantford Buy and Sell. Healthy white Brugmansia plants. I don't know what they are. Well-established plants. Several sizes available. $15, $20, and $25. Keep inside until no more risk of frost. Fantastic container plant. Very fast growing. Place in large pot and put in a sunny location or minimum of half day's sun exposure. Make your patio outstanding with one of these unique plants. Produces masses of huge trumpet shaped flowers? What? That become fragrant at night. Flowers profusely right up until frost when it must be brought inside for the winter and stored in a cool dark place uh, or grown as an annual. Pick up in Paris. Okay, so she literally, uh, yeah, she just fucking sold the shit out of this. I'm in. I want one of these. This is them. Oh, they are nice. Paris, yes. Paris, Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now here we go. Carol, I'm terrified of airing my personal opinions because they might offend community standards and Facebook would punish me be sending me to Facebook jail. This is the first comment. This is literally the first comment. There's no, we're, we're not missing any details. Here. Twyla, about what? Awfully curious Twyla here. Sherry, that's also, that's what I am also curious about. Okay, Sherry. Had a hard time with the keyboard there, but she'll make it. Okay, so here we got Darlene. Sherry, she's a disgruntled, disgruntled former Facebook jailbird. But why say anything then? Maybe best not to be on Facebook at all. Officer Darlene here, <laughs> coming in hot. We have terms for these people now? She's a Facebook jailbird? Carol wasn't gonna sit on that too long though, cause she's gonna reply to Sherry right away. And she's replying to Sherry, but talking shit about Darlene. Let me say that, but she wouldn't tag Darlene. Carol goes, Sherry, Darlene is a simpleton and has no clue how censored Yahoo is. Anything remotely conservative can be censored or an innocent comment that is deemed politically incorrect. So now we're talking about Yahoo? Who uses Yahoo? Do you guys still use Yahoo? Your mom does? Your mom does too? <laughs> Classic boomer. Ken, I do fuck off. All right. Okay, hold on. Ken does. We got to be careful. You use Yahoo for email? Okay. I use Gmail. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Carol's hot about a previous issue. We just know that much. So now Darlene. Carol. Calling people names is so juvenile, especially when you don't know me. I see why you're a jailbird. Your comment has nothing to do with post. Darlene is not even the poster. None of these people are the poster. If we go back up here, the poster is Allison. We've yet to even hear from her. She's just trying to sell beautiful plants. Now, anyways, now we have a new entrant into the battlefield here. Valerie replying to Carol. What could you possibly say that would be negative? Okay. Valerie, do you need us to fucking just think about that for a second? That's a question you would think before asking. So, Carol, Valerie, I stated what I would like to do to a pigeon that was messing on my balcony, and that sent me to Facebook jail. There were no swear words in my comment. Facebook is so heavily censored that it is ridiculous. Check that fact out on the internet if you don't believe me. 
she thinks that because she didn't have any swear words in her post, that whatever she said was okay. What do you think she said to this pigeon? I mean, we can make up a million things, right? Like, she stated what you'd like to do to pigeon. Like, obviously, she wanted to harm the pigeon. That probably, I think that's worthy of a Facebook ban, right? Did you want the pigeon to put in your crock pot for delicious stew? Did you, because there's already someone on Marketplace looking for some bones for their delicious soup. But you can't post that, Carol. Twyla coming back in here, replying to Carol. It is computerized to catch any direct violence. It can't decipher what you directed your violence towards. My daughter said something was stupid once and got out in jail. Lol. So, okay. It doesn't matter if you're directing your violence towards a person or a pigeon. I don't think it's okay. I've seen people on wrestling Twitter get blocked or banned for posting promos. Some people will be like, oh, I'm going to kill them. And then it's like they get banned for it because it's a wrestling promo. But, you know, you just can't post shit like that. Or she posted pigeon porn. True. Maybe that was it, Topher. That Maybe she posted pigeon porn, which I would imagine also isn't allowed. That's Carol and Twyla there. Okay, so Sherry now replying to Carol. I'm still confused, dot, dot. What's wrong with this ad? She's right. What the fuck's wrong with this? No, I don't know. But Carol goes, Sherry, I no longer care. Please be a deer and buzz off. So she no longer cares. Please be a deer and buzz off. Now, I didn't know she cared in the first place. It kind of sounded like she just wanted to vent about previous frustrations on a random, random fucking Facebook post. We got Alaska here. So these don't have to go in a hanging basket. I can put a five hem in a large plant. And then Alice in the poster replies to the only genuine comment. Plant in a large pot. These are more like small trees, not suitable for hanging baskets. Okay, so there is a happy ending here. Allison did reply, so she didn't shut off comments, but she just decided she took the high road and ignored the trolls, which I think is great. So this is Jen in the Port Colburn buy and sell, looking for someone to install an 18 inch permanent above ground pool. And then now the picture that she's posted is on her cell phone. So she's just taking a photo of her cell phone with a picture of the pool. So why not just, I don't understand this one. Like just post the photo. Do they not know how it works? They would have had to get a whole other phone to take a photo. And then they would have had to, if she was using this phone to post, send it. Like, I don't understand. We got Al coming in here with the fucking knee slappers. An 18 inch pool shouldn't take that long. <laughs> Sorry, made me laugh. Now Al, he's appealing to the right market because he's got 11 reactions on this. Really not that fucking funny, but Facebook finds this hilarious. This is the kind of comedy that they love here. So Steven, Al, I was thinking the same thing. Sorry, Steven, you were late to the bad joke party, bud. So I'm pretty sure this is Jake, right? Like, can we all agree this is Jake? Who the fuck spells their name Jake like this? We can blame his parents for spelling Jake like this. Now, you can also tell, like, we've already blurred this shit out, but you can already tell. See, yeah, Mount Man, you know what I'm saying. We've got it blurred out, but you can see it's a maple leaf upside down. But anyways, this is Jake. I think you just take it out of the box. Dickhead. Anyways, we got Brandy. Jake, if only it were that easy, lol. I recommend whoever you get to install them, have them put peat moss under the liner. Much nicer than sand. Okay, thank you, Brandy, for your, your, your skipping steps here. First, we're just looking for someone to install the pool. Um, we don't really need... We, we're going one step at a time here. Thank you, Brandy, for letting us know. So if you know that, maybe you know someone that can help out. If not, why are you commenting? Jake replies to Brandy. It was a joke on a joke. The pool post said 18-inch pool, so I was just trying to be funny. Well, I think you fucking failed, Jake, because it really wasn't that funny. You weren't really clear with your joke. There wasn't really a decisive point to it. You just, I don't know, you were just hoping people would get it. But I think we already wrote you off just by the spelling on your first name. To which Brandy replies, oh, I never caught that. <laughs> now she's dying. 18 inches, definitely manageable, lol. Okay, so again, appealing to the right crowd. So that Jake LMAO. So now he's fucking lamowing at his own jokes. That's always fun. All right. Love Jake. Carrie. Jake. I figured they meant 18 foot. Carrie. Hold on. Fucking. This has got to be. A, a, it's in the top five of rules for marketplace. I would say it's easily one or uh, not. Maybe not one, but maybe two. You can't hit these people with logic. It never works. They, they don't, don't no logic and common sense allowed on the Facebook marketplace comment section. It's just not happening. So Jake replies to Carrie, so did I, Carrie, dot, dot. It was a joke, dot, dot. Okay, so again, Jake feeling the need to explain his joke to another person, which just, oh my God, my insides are just fucking, everything is tightening up. 
All right, so now Jake replying to Brandy again. I'm not trying to be offensive in any way. I looked up the peat moss under pools and everything I found says not to do it. Oh, okay, so there's lore here that we're just kind of kind of piecing together. So Jake was replying to Brandy's suggestion of peat moss. So again, let's, let's keep this in mind here. Nobody is so far interested or knows anybody to set up this pool. There isn't one person interested yet. So, you know, we're just having our own discussions here in the comment thread. So I'm sure the seller loves this. So now Brandy goes, Jake, I had a professional pool guy do ours and I highly recommend it. Our neighbor also has had hers for 10 plus years and it's still nice and spongy. Google sucks. It always has bad about everything. Okay, so now we're on, now we're on Google. Okay. So now Jake and Brandy seems like they got a little thing going on here. I'm feeling the electricity. I'm seeing everything kind of clicking here. Sparks are flying. Jake agreed, dot, dot. I had a sore shoulder, dot, dot. I Googled it, dot, dot. Turns out I'm dying, lol. Oh, am I doing, am I, hold on, am I doing Jake's voice wrong? What, what should we do? Is he like a Jigga Chat? Is that what you're thinking? <clears throat> Agreed. I just saw a shoulder, dot, dot. I Googled it, dot, dot. Turns out I'm dying, lol. Sorry, dot, dot. The peat makes sense to me. I helped a father-in-law put up a pool last year with sand in it, and it was a lot more difficult than I expected to get the sand level. I feel Pete would level itself over time. Okay, so Jake is now turning turning the tide here on the peat moss. So he he's in, actually. I think he's good. So now Jake again. The sand we put down, I could still feel the little bumps where we didn't level it completely. They won't level. So now Carrie replying to Jake again. So he already had this conversation with him. It says 18 foot in the ad. To which now Jake is replying here with a comment where it's zoomed in and it says 18 inch. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying today. Allergies are bad right now. Excuse me again. Thank you guys, appreciate it. So now, Jake again, thoroughly explaining his joke for I think the fifth or sixth time now, with a screenshot that says 18 inch permanent above ground pool. So he's just letting them know that, hey, it is here. Does it carry? Brandy replies. Now they're back on the WebMD stuff, like Jesus Christ. Me, I have a headache. WebMD, and it'll be your last. Okay, Brandy and Jake, just get a fucking... Let's go into Facebook Messenger. Why are we doing this on the person's comment section? That's just back and forth. It's the same app. You don't even got to leave. You can share your fucking shitty memes and emotes there. So carry now. Yes, right at the very bottom. Zoom in. So if you go back, actually, we can't quite see it, but down here it does say 18 foot. So anyways, I think Jake was just trying to make a joke. I'm glad he didn't explain it again. Recommendations here, Debbie, 18 inch. Debbie, read the rest of the fucking comments for God's sakes before you drop your own. That would really help. Okay, Emily coming in here late to the party with another, you know, piggyback on the same joke. Is it a pool for your Barbies? That's an odd size. <laughs> so fucking funny, Emily, thank you. Alan, I can't, ins I can't see installing an 18 inch pool would require more than yourself. I would imagine it's one piece inside that box. My dog's water dish is bigger. Notice, Alan, you're way late to the party, bud. You got no hits on that. I would be embarrassed. I'd probably delete that comment ASAP. Even for Facebook, this is cringy. Tristan, 18 feet is inches, is feet. This is inches, this is feet. You can see Belize, 18 foot round in the bottom. Tristan, stop trying to apply logic to the conversation. It never works. We didn't get one legitimate sale in this whole comment thread. Nothing. All right, I think we got one more here. Francesco on the Toronto buy and sell here. Wrestling toys with ring includes 20 action figures with the wrestling ring. He already put that in there, but he just wanted to reiterate wrestling ring, not two rings, one. Each action figure is $20 minimum three per order, okay? Or the whole set, including wrestling ring, 325 OBO or best offer won't last. Text me. So he's saying that this shit is worth 325. Now, I didn't go through each of the pictures, but you can see. First of all, the presentation of this is horrible. You should have spaced all these out properly and fucking taken photos of them individually. If you're hoping for $20 a thing, that's kind of insane. The ropes kind of look all trashed up here. 325. Yes, that is the asking price. OBO, there is an or best offer, and, and, he, and he's confident these won't last. So now I, I beg to differ, and, or the other price is $20 minimum per figure and three per order. So he's looking for $60 minimum if he's gonna start parting this shit out. That's crazy. Brett, it's not me, I promise. Quite the party going on in there in the squared circle. <laughs> As you can see, he's referring to the 
you know, a, I don't know, I guess in his mind, the apparent orgy happening in the squared circle of toys. To which Francesco replies, Brett, I'm going to do better picks soon. Okay. Now, you shouldn't, in my mind, if you're looking to sell products, right? And you're looking to make money, especially 325 is, is a lot of money, right? You're looking to make a good chunk of change. You should post your photos properly the first time. Don't say I'm going to post them better soon. Just do them right away. Like when we post something on Marketplace, I take photos of it or Tori takes photos of it nice. She even edits them, makes them look a little nicer because I want to sell the item. I'm not going to post a dog shit photo of wrestling toys piled in the center of a ring. To which Jonathan selling an orgy of dolls. That's fucking hilarious. I did not see that one coming at all. Did he specify how many figures? No, he didn't actually. He just posted a, there's eight photos. And I'll tell you from what I looked at, there's there's quite a bit of figures. There is not $325 worth of figures. There's not. Hundred, I promise you there's not. Okay, here we go. Here's our main character of this battlefield, okay? So this is Nick. You don't have any rare type action figures. Also, this is nowhere near 325. If anything, $100 where you're robbing someone blind or else $60 max. You're better off doing what John Cena does for Make-A-Wish and donate them to some kids. I have some wrestling toys still in packages that I can't even get for your asking price. You don't even have a Hulk Hogan or Andre the Giant for your asking price, let alone an Ultimate Warrior? Toys belong to the kids, not to greedy, hungry for money schmucks. Whoa! Jesus. Okay, now we could argue toys are for everybody. I know lots of adults that collect toys. There's no shame on it. Okay, so what did you say, Legacy? I do believe it said 20 figures at $20 each. It did. Okay, sorry. Yes, it does include. So sorry. It did say how many action figures. There are 20 action figures. Thank you. I was lost in my own ad. Each one $20, but they want three minimum per order. So there we go. There's Nick's comment. Now he's doing a typical Facebook marketplace thing where he's telling people to donate. I fucking hate when people do that. Some people need the money for various reasons. You can't just sit there and tell someone to donate something. Like it's their item. They're choosing to sell it. You, you're choosing to comment. You can just scroll on by. You don't need to be a fucking dick. If you want it to be donated, then you buy shit and you donate it yourself. You know? Now Brett getting back in here to Nick. You know how long that novel is? Lost you at rare type. To which Nick now, Nick and Brett are going at it. 1v1. Brett, give your head a shake and take a read at what I wrote. Unless you're colorblind, there is no old school wrestlers, let alone the quality of these toys look like they came out of your closet, lol. Brett now coming back at it. Nick, lol. You gotta stop with the writing. Becoming an author was a dream that just didn't work out. So now we got Nick replying to Brett. Well, at least I can write to your mother this Easter. She appreciates it. And he's got a little, a cute little chick emote there. I think it's a bird hatching out of an egg. To which Brett replies to Nick, not as much as your mother likes wooden baseball bats in her ass. Like what? Not as much as your mother likes wooden baseball bats in her ass is a real comment that he just wrote on this post. Wow. Oh my God. Anyways, I think Nick, Nick tagged out of that one. Nick wanted no part of that shit. He's gone. So now Francesco, the original poster says, Nick, so you're telling me what to do now with what to price my stuff to sell? I do. Lol. Some grammatical issues there, but we won't think too much into that. You know, we'll just, you know. Okay, so now we got Nikki. Francesco, he's just saying you're asking too much. You don't have any rare figure that would be worth 325. He's just stating his opinion. Good luck at selling these. Nikki, you have no need to come in and defend people, especially when they're talking about shoving baseball bats up their mother's ass. These people are resorting to your mama jokes, and you're coming in here to defend them for what? Jennifer, new person in the battlefield now. Francesco, I fully understand your frustration. Post whatever you like because they are your items on your account and come up with your price. People are only going to leave negative comments slash opinions. I hope you get your asking price. Okay, St. Jennifer, I'm coming over here. I'm giving you another one of these. We usually give at least one a week. Give you a little pat on the back. That's for you, Jennifer. Good job. You did your good deed for the day. Thank you for your contributions to the Marketplace ad. I'm sure your badge is in the mail. It's coming ASAP. So Francesco replying to Nikki. Oh, okay, I'll just change the title. So that must have been where the edit came from earlier. That's fine. Spencer replying to Nick. Who hurt you? Stop pretending like you actually care about these toys going to kids. Lol. 
What you're really mad about is that you're embarrassed about your own accomplishments in life and you spend all day on Facebook belittling every post you can so that you can sleep at night knowing some of these people aren't getting further than you in life. And you'll reply and play the I'm a good person and don't want to see people get scammed card dot dot dot. But we all know. Okay, now that was a hell of a run on sentence there. Took a <laughs> Every little bit of breath I had in my lungs went to, you know, get in there. But again, we won't pick on the grammar too much. But Spencer coming in hot here. I get the feeling that there's some backstory to this too. There must be comments. Like I said, this is a little fucking community here. These people all knew each other. There's a lot of the same commenters on same posts. I don't know if I've ever seen them actually buy anything. So he's probably just pissed off about other, other comments in the past. So now we got Case coming in here. I missed to do larger rubber ones with Hulk, Savage, Bundy, etc. Thank you for your unwanted opinion. Appreciate it. Are you interested in any of these? No. Why the fuck are you commenting? Jesus. To which Steve goes the best and Case goes agreed. Okay, so that was just great. Awesome. Thank you for that unnecessary convo on this post. Sandra, you're basing your asking price on what you paid per item. You'll never get what you're asking for. If I was interested, I'd be offering five cents a doll and 10 cents for the wrestling ring. Lol. These ain't worth nothing like the other guy said. Donate with another one of these. It's our second one tonight, I think. Fucking. Uh. I do think that 10 cents is a little, is pretty low ball. And even for that, that wrestling ring, five cents a doll. That's God damn it. Don't call them dolls. They're action figures. Francesco, donate lol. Last time I checked, I never asked for your opinion. Lol. Just got offered 130 for all. Declined it. So Francesco getting in a little flex here. Hey, just so you know, I, I don't know. think he, pro I, I, he probably didn't get offered anything. That's my guess. Uh, but he was given a little, just a little flex here uh, that he got offered 130 and declined it. If I were him, I would have taken that offer and ran. But anyways, to which Sandra replies, exactly. You'll never get your asking price. You should have taken the 130. You say you got offered. That'll be your best offer. Lol. Crying emote. Sakes. Jesus. So now Francesco goes, Sandra, not desperate for money, lol. Just bought this $800 selling $3,900 on eBay. Life is fantastic with a couple of cool emotes. And it looks like a PSA uh, 9.5 LeBron James card. So uh, you, Francesco went from a little minor flex to a little fucking which way's the beach flex real fast. Francesco's just looking for a place to flex here. Um, and I'd say mission accomplished. I'm in, Francesco. Even the seller is is. is contributing to the own trolls on his own post you can't do that as a seller you need to just focus on the people that want your item and ignore the trolls you're gonna get trolls all the time it doesn't matter what you're selling like i said if you if you see more or you see somewhere you have some crazy stories screenshot the pieces of it for me send it to me uh discord twitch whatever the fuck doesn't matter and uh it, it, you know we'll, we'll read through them we'll dissect them we'll have a good time with them otherwise i'll just keep uh i'll just keep finding them myself i don't care